Hello everyone, welcome again to another nascent toy collector presented by Infinite Collectibles. I'm Adam Martin and here I am. After the last NECA fail that I had right here on my channel, I, I'd already bought this toy uh, and I'm excited to open it up. I am, I really enjoyed the comic, The Last Ronin. Uh, I really enjoyed the artwork and the story and everything and I really, I've really, really surprisingly enjoyed this new one they have out, The Lost Years. I think it might even be better than the original. But anyway, uh, I said I wasn't going to buy any more NECA stuff and that's still up in the air. I, I may, even though, boy, the Bebop, that just destroyed me. Anyway, let's tear into this action figure. <laughs> All right, guys, there it is right there. But before we take a look at it, I have to say I would be doing no justice if I didn't. The Last Ronin, The Lost Years is available right now. This is number one. This is uh, a cover by Gallant. Uh, it also does feature art by Ben Bishop, who did this uh, awesome box art here. Um, this comic's out right now. It does feature some first appearances, kind of, even though if you ask me, they appeared in the final issue of The Last Ronin. But some people think this is a first appearance. Either way, uh, I will say... This one's awesome, and it is actually comic book sized. Uh, as you can see, that's my copy of number one from the first one. This thing is great. Give this a read. You will not be disappointed. I, I know that Last Ronin disappointed some people. I myself, I really enjoyed it. Um, I, it went where I thought it was going to go, but that's neither here nor there. What, what, what I have now before me is this awesome piece of plastic. But first, let's look at this box. Really nice artwork, like I said, uh, by Ben Bishop. I do love that it looks like a Japanese flag and says The Last Ronin. I love that simple typed out Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles up there. I don't know if you can see that. There it is. And man, yeah. Turn it to the side. You get This is the standard A cover for The Last Ronin number one. And this is the armored version, I will point out. It, it does say that armored. Nickelodeon logo. On the back, we get some awesome pictures of the, of the action figure. You can see where I've already torn the box there, trying to get it open. I'm just so, so you know, my fingers are so greedy. Um, got a little story about who The Last Ronin is. Some awesome comic book art there. Uh, NECA, of course. On this side, we get some more comic book art. Uh, man, just super cool, right? I can't wait to see all what's in this package. Um, on the bottom, you get your Made in China, uh, NECA, you know, all the legalese, and then all the people that are involved. Uh, there's Ben Bishop for the illustrations there. And yeah, uh, this box doesn't quit giving there, though. When you open it up, you get this awesome photo of the figure right here. It does have the really cool window box. Uh, I was a little worried. I don't know if you guys can see. There's just like a splotch of green on my window box. On the on the window there, there's a splotch there and a splotch there. I'm like, did they put this thing in this box wet? Like, what kind of quality control does NECA have? I mean, I, I know people have complained before, but I'm just seriously wondering what... I mean, damn, really? That's paint. That's the green paint from his face. Like, it slammed against it somehow. I... It's not on the outside, so that's on the inside. Anyway, I can see a bunch of goodies, so let's just tear into this bad boy. There he is in a nice blister pack. It is a really cool blister. It'll, it will allow you to put the things back in, and they will stay in there secured, much like a, uh, a, a Best Action Loyal Subjects one. I do. There is some banding in there. I'm going to have to take care of that. Most everything else is, like, taped in and then sit in this... Uh, interior tray there. Really nice. Looks like he doesn't have a whole lot of crap on him. Just have to cut those damn things off. I'm gonna get that done right now. So right out of the plastic and I am impressed. Color me impressed. This thing is really cool. The paint application is just amazing. They have some really nice dry brushing and stuff going on here. Um, really cool textures on everything. Uh, really, really feels like a nice figure in your hands. Um, so far, no broken legs. You know, nothing's falling off of him. He's a little squeaky. I, I, I need some of that oil, possibly, to kind of lube him up. But, man, let's just take a look really quick. Uh, okay, so the hood. The first thing I, I notice here is the hood. Um, you can see it, it kind of turns with him, or you can kind of turn the head inside of there. Well, what it is is you can pull it right off, and it has a peg in it that pegs in the back of his head. And you can take that out. You can take the hood off, and then you can actually plug in the pieces of sweatband uh, if you wanted to do that. So that's really neat because he does. He, he did run around uh, some without it, without the hood on. I think you can plug this. I say you can plug this in. I'm not having any luck. Oh yeah, see that? Look at that. 
badass. I like the hooded look though, but for for this review's purpose, I'm gonna take the hood off there. It's it is really nice though. You can see that it's uh kind of rubbery, kind of soft. So uh, just looking at what I see right here, get just the actual figure itself, the paint application and everything, five out of five. This thing is really sharp. I dig it. I love everything about all the details on the pouches. Um, and like he's got so many little spots to hang stuff, put weapons and stuff. He, you know, he's covered in weapons. He is the last Ronin. He, he does carry all the weapons of his fallen brothers. And uh, spoiler alert, I know I think it came out like two years ago. This is Michelangelo. They have announced they are doing a Leo, a Raph, and a Donnie and Splinter 2-pack. I believe it's a Donnie and Splinter 2-pack. Uh, from And there's, uh, those will be coming from NECA somewhere down the road. Now, this thing did set me back $34.99. So for price, for price and what I got here, we're, we're going to take a look at the accessories. But I believe 5 out of 5. This is a really nice figure. Let's take a look at the uh, articulation, although it's a NECA figure. You, you guys know what it does. Ah, look at that. Fell right off there. Um, you can swap out the head, so let's just go ahead and take this head off. The uh, kind of like, I don't know if you want to call that the angry face, or is he smiling there? I'm not sure. I do love the, uh, you know, the lines making him look old. Uh, that looks so awesome. Uh, his head is on a ball joint. Uh, it's ball jo jointed inside. As you can see, the... This like barbell moves. It has its own little bit of joint in there. Uh, not a lot, but a little bit. And we're gonna pop the variant head on. It's cool, it's got his mouth open like he's pissed off still. Mikey, you know, pissed off. Uh, pop the head on there. That looks really awesome. I like it. So he's got a little bit of up, down, and then of course you can go all the way around. Uh, yep, and this one has a really nice amount of sweatband on it too. That will get hung up as you can see when you're spinning it all the way around. But what do you expect? His head's spinning all the way around. All right, shoulders are on ball joints. Oh shit, let's see, they hinge up to, he's a little stiff, I'm afraid to get too rough with it. They hinge up to what, about 80, 85 degrees, somewhere wrong in there. Uh, they do have a, I guess you could call that a bicep swivel, right? Would you call that a, yeah, it's, it's swiveling before the elbow. It is a two part, pinless elbow uh it does bend that far which is pretty nice it's got a lot of kind of got a lot of range there you can see some nice range i do like the way they hide the joints with these uh, awesome sweat bands or what these are like elbow pads i mean he's like really armored up here he's i love this mismatching stuff too really 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 cool um let's see yeah so they have the swivel there they they bend that far they are uh of course swivel at the wrist uh, and there is a little bit of hinging there though not a lot. I am going to swap out some hands here, to take out the closed fist that he came with. So closed fist, and it's got a nice amount of detail on it, honestly. Um, I'm going to turn him around so the camera doesn't try to focus on his face. Has a nice amount of detail to that hand. As you can see, just the fine bit of work there. Just a little bit of shading, you know, like a little bit of pencil work, making it look uh, just like it came out of a comic book. Really nice. Um, we also have, let's see, we need a, a gripping hand for him. There's a grip hand. I'm going to go ahead and pop that in there. And we're going to go on from there. Let's see. Okay, he is, uh, he does twist at the waist, as you can see. And there's a little bit of a, a little bit of crunch to him. Not a lot, but I do like the way they hide that joint. That joint is very well hidden by this awesome belt. And the belt feels soft which is really nice, but it's not. It's actually stuck on there. It's actually, a, I'm gonna say it's a part of his lower torso there. Really cool. The hips do move. God, I'm, I'm terrified of these NECA figures. I really like this one though. Eh. So the hips do move forward that far, back that far, out to the side. And you can see the soft gets right out of the way. Um, we have the, you can see the pins in the knees though. I don't care. I know some people do. He's got that much movement to the knee. Man, this thing's really, really, really nice. And then of course, he has full pivot on the ankles and then side to side rockers, forward and back. So, you know, just a whole bunch of range. You could get this guy into all kind of cool poses. I mean, yeah. Oh, yeah. You could definitely do some. I, I'm not the best at posing action figures, but you could definitely do some cool shit with this. Uh, you know, if you, you could do some work on it. But you could definitely get him into some cool poses, which is what we want, right? Let's uh, take a look at his accessories now. Man, I really like this. Gosh, now I'm even more excited for the other figures coming soon. Let's see. He came with a side because as you remember, if you've read the book, he did carry 
all of his brother's weapons. The sigh goes right there on his belt. It's a very nice looking sigh. I do like it a lot. Uh, nice handle and everything. I really like the paint on it. Looks really cool. Looks very cool on his belt. He also came with Donnie's bow. And this is a really nice looking bow, honestly. Um, one of the best ones I've seen yet, really. I kind of wish the Super 7 one was this nice. Uh, that's a really nice looking bow. And I believe this goes in his back here. This goes... Let's see, maybe right in this, it's got this like holder, as you can see, that's kind of tied to him. Uh, and it slides up in there, I think. Oh man. Well, you guys saw what just happened there. Um, you know, I, I feel like this is my fault. That was my fault. I was just really shoving on it and I should know better. I should know this stuff is fragile. I'm gonna take the blame on this. Um, I do feel like that goes in there somehow. I'm just, you know what? I'm just not exactly sure. And just NECA, I just, I have no luck with them. So I'm gonna just set the bow staff aside there. Whoo, okay, calm down. All right, all right, cool, cool. Here's his awesome set of nunchucks. They look amazing. They got the real chain in there. Uh, I like the longer handles. They look really neat. It's a very nice set of nunchucks. I'm gonna say they go in here somewhere. Um, right there. Oh yeah, look at that, right there. Uh, he also has Leo's katana. Badass. Unsheath it. It's got a really nice amount of detail to the... Uh, some dry brushing going on there with the handle. The hilt looks really cool. The pommel. Pommel? Pommel. The pommel, I'm sorry. It's like the counterweight to the blade, right? That makes it all... It makes it all work out. It makes it all feel nice in your hand. I'm going to put this in his hand. I'm going to attempt to. Watch me break it off like it's a Super 7 sword. Now, these hands are a little softer. As you can see, they kind of actually open up and allow it to go in there. I say that. Now I'm feeling... Okay, so you see what I've got. <laughs> it makes me nervous. Oh, my goodness, you guys. I'm terrified of toys now. Okay, there it went. See, it went right in there. I do know this does go through... I'm pretty sure it goes through this one. That's really tight. So be very careful when trying to push this stuff through. Uh, it is very ooh, tight. So this is kind of, this is still scaring me. Yikes. There it is. Okay. So there, that that's on his back. There's the sheath on his back. Whoo. Okay. It didn't break. Uh, all right. So there's all four of the weapons. Uh, he does also come with that badass baton thing that he carries and whips the shit out of all those uh, the Neo foot soldiers with. Let's see, we can throw that in real quick. Um, I'm going to put that in this other gripping hand here. You can see he has the right gripping hand as well right there. I'm holding it just a little bit low. I'm sorry about that, guys. Still getting used to this uh, doing stuff on here. For accessories, uh, he really comes with a lot of stuff. So let's pop this hand out. Maybe that's the better way to do it. Maybe I should always do this. Maybe I should put the weapons in with the hands, you know, not on the figure. Now I can't seem to, let's see if I can do it like this. So there he has his, nope. All right. Maybe he's, so there he has his badass baton. Oh yeah. The last Ronin looks ready to cut you down, sucker. Um... He also came with these badass goggles. Uh, they were featured, uh, you can see those, uh, they were on the uh, the box there. And I'm sure you could put those on his head. Oh yeah, I mean, they just have a soft band, you know, like a rubber band, like an elastic rubber band there. Um, they're just rubber banded, they'll fit on his head. Uh, let me see here, take the sweat band out. I'm gonna say, pull those down. And there you got him in his night vision. They have little eyes painted on them, as you can see that. <laughs> That's really badass. Uh, that probably look really cool with the hood. Let's see here, if I can get it all on there. Hmm, maybe not. Eh. You could, I mean, you could do it. I'm not the best at it. You can see what I've got going on there. I've got the strap over the hood, but yeah, you could do it and it would look really cool. Um, you could also just pull him down, you know, cause he was wearing them like that too. So you could always have him like that. Uh, throw that hood back on. That looks pretty damn cool. Uh, and then he also came with, let's see, he came with 
his grappling hook and a string, which you can, I think you can hang this on his belt somehow, somewhere, probably right in here. There's another spot right there that you could probably hang that, or you could probably put this baton in there. I'm sure you could put whatever you want in this little spot here. He's full of places to hold things. He also came with some very, very, very sharp plastic stars. If you can see, that's like stuck in my skin there. I, I do have rough skin, I am a mechanic. But uh, you can see that that thing is really sharp. So if you get these things out, be careful. One poked me in the finger when I was getting it out of there. And I was like, damn. And then he has a little like grenade thing. I don't remember this in the comic. It's been like a year or so since I've read it. Though I will say that Lost Years is really awesome. You guys better pick that up. Really good reading. If you love the turtles, then you need to read that Lost Years. Actually, if you love the turtles, you should read both of those stories. The Last Ronin and The Last Ronin Lost Years. But yeah, um, so I'm going to give his accessories. I mean, overall, besides me breaking the staff like a jackass, and I might be able to fix that. I'm going to I'm gonna try to fix it. I'm going to see if I can glue that back together. And I'm sure I can. I mean, that, 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 that should go right back together. So I'm going to give his accessories five out of five. So overall, I give him, damn, this is a, besides me breaking the damn staff, this is a five out of five figure, you guys. This thing's going to look great on my shelf. I guess I'm going to put him in with the comic book stuff. I, I think he really fits, you know, well on the comic booky side of things. Uh, since he is, ex ex he is exclusively in a comic. So that kind of makes sense, right? Man, he looks fantastic. I love the shoulder pads, everything about it. I don't think you guys could be let down. If you like The Last Ronin at all, this Michelangelo is the perfect addition to your collection. This thing is badass. Now it's time for a little bit of comparison. While I have his bow on the mend, you see I was able to super glue that end back on. It's going to look a little shitty, but that was totally my fault, you guys. I was way, way too rough with it. That's my bad. You know, I'm used to toys, and these are adult collectibles. Anyway... The last Ronin action figure from NECA is clocking in at right at six, six and a, six and a quarter, six and an eighth inches tall. And so what I want to do is just compare him with other Michelangelo's and it's only fitting because it is Michelangelo. There he is with Super 7's Michelangelo, Super 7 Ultimates. And uh, as you can see right off the bat, he's a lot taller than Michelangelo. And at first you go, oh man, the scale's wrong. Well, here's the deal though, in this storyline, the turtles continued to mutate into their older age. So he was getting actually physically bigger. So this still still could kind of scale up in some kind of display where you have the Super 7 turtles. I don't think it looks bad. I think it looks pretty good. And there we have Michelangelo from the TMNT Classics line. Um, <laughs> this one, I, I, you know, the line is really cool. It's a really cool set when you have them all together. Uh, I hate the posable fingers, but... They look great, but they're just, they're just, the proportions are just totally wrong here. Here he is with a best action Michelangelo. That looks pretty cool. Uh, this is a pretty, I feel like this is a pretty accurate scale here. Old turtle versus young turtle. And then here we have Slash from NECA's new uh, TMNT Adventures line from the uh, Archie comics. Now, this I think is a pretty fair uh, side by side. I would say... I, I would not feel bad having these guys on my shelves together. They're both from comics, and these are comic book versions of the characters, and I think I, 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 that looks pretty nice. I really do like that. I love Slash, though. God, he's so damn cool. And one last Turtles figure. Here he is. Here he is next to the Best Action Shredder, which I've had it said on the channel in the comments, this... The best action line has the wonkiest scale when it comes to the human beings in the in the in the line, and this the shredder is no exception. He's notably tiny, but obviously this turtle would beat the living hell out of that shredder. Now let's compare him to some non-turtles. Here he is with Marvel Legends Black Panther. Now I honestly feel like this team right here could do a lot of ass kicking together. Black Panther, Michelangelo as the last Ronin, that is quite the team up right there. And last but not least, there we have him alongside the 40th anniversary He-Man from Mattel. This is from the Masterverse line. I love this figure. This might be my very favorite He-Man figure besides the original ever. I think they look they look pretty cool side by side. And that brings this video to a conclusion. Man, I thank you guys so much for watching my last video where I broke uh, Bebop, which totally sucked. Totally just killed me. Uh, thank you for all the nice comments and... Uh, 
Thank you for letting me know that the thing to do with them is to soak them in hot water or to kind of hit them with a blow dryer. I did not know that when I opened this guy, but I did not have any articulation issues with him. So you guys, thank you so much for subscribing. I'm well over 300 now. I don't know how to do a giveaway thing. You guys know how to, I mean, what can I do? How can I do this? Some of my subscribers are private, so I have no idea uh, who you even are. So yeah, I don't know what to do. I is anyone interested in anything? I would, I mean, I don't know how to do the 300 subscriber thing. I guess maybe I could take my subscribers now and put you all in a, like a raffle. I don't know. Uh, you guys comment, let me know what you think. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please stay tuned for more. And as always, have a great week. Keep it geek. Peace out.